Hey guys, watch through this video to the end to see how we touch this image, how we fix this large patch on our armpit right here, how we fixed it and made it look more beautiful, how we added shine and glamour to this image, how we retouch the image, smooth the image, color graded the skin tone and the whole image from start to finish. Uh, we know for that too. Let's get started. So we are going to start all the way from the beginning like this. Now for the sake of you that don't have this action, the frequency separation action, I'm going to create one real quick. So we duplicate the background layer twice and we're going to name this, yeah, I'm going to name this H. This for the high frequency and this for the low frequency. I'm going to come to filter, noise, median. I'm going to set the radian value to 2. Click on OK. I'm going to come to the H as the high frequency. Image, apply image. Change the blend mode to subtract. I'm going to change the layer to low frequency, the L layer. I'm going to leave the scale to offset should be 1 to 8. I'm going to click on OK. Change the blend mode from normal to linear light. I'm going to group these two together. We'll name the group FS for frequency separation. I'm going to open this group and right here we're going to create an empty layer. I'm going to name this empty layer color correct. I'm going to work on the color correct layer. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this uh, discoloration under our armpit. To do that, we're going to take our brush, our normal brush, make sure uh, the foreground is white, the flow should be five, and the opacity should be 100. Uh, using the brush, we're going to resize the brush using brackets, open and close key. I'm going to hold Alt to sample from a neat area I'm going to paint on this discoloration right here to fix it with the color we picked from the neat area. I'm going to sample from this shadow area down here to fix this areas below. So we are sampling neighboring colors that are okay to fix the colors that are not okay to fix the discoloration. So with that, we are going to easily fix this discoloration on this image. So, a sample and paint, a sample and paint, a sample and paint. See the before and see the after. Zoom in, the before and the after. Let's zoom out a little bit. See the before and see the after. This discoloration on the arm, we're also going to fix that. So, Take your brush sample. You know, the more we're going to retouch it, the more the skin is going to look better and better and better until it looks amazing. So you sample from a neat area, you paint on the areas with the discoloration. So this uh, technique is super handy. It's going to work for all skin type, it's going to work for all image. So pay close attention and learn how to do simple fixes like this that are going to have major impact on your image so you can continue to do that you can do that for also this area of the skin super easy and handy so once you are okay you zoom to the face if there's any discoloration you sample and you brush you sample and you brush points like this bed mark are very beautiful to leave out so make sure once you are editing your image you leave Things like that. If there's any pimple or acne on the face, you can use a spot healing brush. Make sure on the low frequency and paint. It's not removing it, you go to the high frequency and then you paint. So you can see the before and the after. We'll fix all the major discoloration on this beautiful model. So we are going to come to the group. Right click and merge the group. Right click on the merged group and flatten the image. 
now to get the general smoothening on this image uh the best technique to use so that you don't deform the image because if you are going to use a mixer brush you easily deform this model you are going to remove a smile line and it's not going to look exactly like the model so you need this action right here it's called the auto fix fx action so while on the auto fix fx you click on the play button and voila the auto fix is going to smooth your image you see the before and the after see the before and the after so that's what the auto fix fx does it smooths the skin why smoothening the skin retain the skin texture like the water droplet on the our model is still visible so you see the before and the after if you're using any other method it might deform the beautiful water droplets on the skin of this model so you see the before and the after it leaves everything intact so for images like this it's going to be very difficult for you to edit without the auto fix effects there's a link in the description to get the auto fix so here was the before and here's the after once you're okay with this i'm going to come to the auto pop and now you click on the auto pop and voila this is what you get before and after it's going to enrich the skin of the model it's going to bring out more color i see the before and you see the after and the changes are superb let's take a general look at the before and the after here was the before and here is the stage we are right now we are going to further enhance the skin i'm going to use the um this action right here it's called the unified skin tone action so we're going to look for that action it's called the even skin tone action it's right here after the melanin tone is here even skin tone action so you play this action you take your brush uh you increase the flow to about 40. now what this is going to do is going to reduce any discoloration like any uh color that is on the skin of the model that is not even it's going to make all the colors in the skin one it's going to unify the skin tone it's super handy to give your model this glamorous look so that's how easy it is using the even skin tone action you take it up you can see how it's, it works so you are going to reduce your opacity like this to retain the skin tone while removing any discoloration why on your own image you can Double the four slash key to see where it has been maxed in or maxed out. Take your time to do the maxing stuff so that you get more quality results. Not going to take much of your time I'm going to refine the selection, but I'm very sure you've gotten the main idea behind how this action works. So once you're okay with this, see the before and the after, you can adjust the opacity to your liking. We are not going to use one cinematic action right here. It's called the orange and teal. Because the skin tone is orange and this uh, swimming pool is blue. So it's going to give us a beautiful orange and teal. Orange and teal skin tone. So this is how it works. See the before and the after. This action works superb. Like you can see. So we are going to reduce the opacity like this. Right now. Before and after. Before and after. We are getting... A beautiful collaborating result already you can already see that we need all this action to get to this result super fast because without the action it's going to take us over four hours to return this image if we are to recreate the whole process from start so we just need to get this action to speed up the workflow so we are going to use the eye white so that we can white in the eye zoom into the eye take your brush make sure the foreground is white and I paint on the eye white like this to whiten the eye as easy as this before and after. Now to bring everything together, we're going to create control shift alternate E to create a stand visible layer. We are going to go to filter, camera raw filter. In the camera raw filter, we can adjust the temperature. We can uh, add more white, adjust the light. Add contrast. We are now going to come and increase the vibrance and desaturate a little bit. Now we'll come to the color mixer section of the uh, camera row. Uh, we are going to tune our colors, individual colors. The blue, we are going to make it look more cyan. The purple, we are going to remove any purple in the image and make it blue. 
and the magenta we're going to take it to reds like this i'm bringing the colors together to get a beautiful color grading i'm going to tune the green grass right here so i'm going to make it look more green i'm going to make it look more greenish like this come to the saturation and boost the saturation of the green all the way to 100. the aqua i'm going to boost the saturation a little bit also the saturation of the blue we take down the orange a little bit desaturating the skin tone a little bit like this and i'm going to boost the saturation of the blue in the calibration section saturation of blue like this now let's take a look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after i'm going to click ok to come back into photoshop wow here was the before and here is the after finally we're going to create a selective color we're going to come to the yellow and we're going to add reduce the yellows by adding blue to the yellow like this Let's take a general look at the before and the after. Here was where we were, and here is where we are right now. Please, if you haven't liked this video, like this video right now. Leave your feedback in the comments. See the beautiful after. Here was the before. Here is the after. Zoom in closely. See, here was the before, and here is the after. If there's any color noise introduced to your image, Throughout any of this process, you create a stamp visible. Come to filter, camera roll filter, and scroll down here to the detail section. In the color noise, you are going to reduce the color noise all the way to 100. So it's going to remove any color noise in your image. It's going to introduce more quality to your image. Let's zoom in closely and sharpen our image a little bit, like this. Increase the radius of the sharpening. Reduce the sharpening value all the way to 10. Just like this. I'm going to bring more details into the image. Now we're going to click on OK. These changes are subtle but very necessary so that your image is going to retain quality when you upload them to Instagram. So let's take a general look at the before and the after. Here was the before. And here is the after. Now, some of you find it difficult to translate tutorials you watch from YouTube to your own image because images vary and problems that those images have also vary. So you can get the all in all retouching essential. We have the auto fix, you have the frequency separation action for 8 bit image, and for 16 bit image, you can see this is a 16 bit image. We have the smart retouching action, we have the dodge and burn, we have the auto pop, the eye white, the even skin. All these actions are right here. You can get them with the link in the description. And also, you can get my all in all pack that contains over 1,000 backgrounds for background manipulation. For those of you that shoot studio images, you can use this to transform your background. It can also be used for uh, photo manipulation. You can see my lots. You have several lots here. You have the lots special, you have the premium lots. You have lots for light skin, melanin, dark skin, wedding. We also have all the Photoshop actions I use in the tutorial right here. You have the all in all retouching essential for Mac. I have the all in all retouching essential that works for the PC. But the cinematic color Photoshop action that we used. And we have instructional video on how to use any of these. If you get access to this uh, pack right here, you also have a direct access to me where we discuss your own problem. We solve your general retouching problem. Also help you transform your photography in general. I'm going to coach you through one week of intense learning you are going to become a professional retoucher and photographer so reach out to me in with the link in the description or the link in the pinned comment and i'm going to start the whole process of your photography journey i'm going to transform your whole retouching and you're going to become a pro retoucher within just one week so like this video happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial